Hey everyone, welcome back to the 100 Handed Ones. Today I'll show you how to create a simple lighting setup to elevate the quality of your videos and take it from something looking like this to something looking like this. Let's go. Before we dive into the lighting setup, it's important to minimize all of the ambient light in the room. This will help ensure that your lighting has the most impact. Turn off any overhead ceiling lights and close any window curtains. This will give you more control over the lighting of your scene. It is recommended that you switch your camera to manual exposure mode. I'm using the MC Pro 24 FPS app on my Galaxy S23 Ultra. This app allows me to control the ISO and the shutter speed for precise control over my video's look. But you can use any other app that allows you to control the exposure settings of your smartphone's camera. Within MC Pro 24 FPS, I've set it to record at 4K 30 frames a second. This gives me a good balance between high resolution and smooth motion. The shutter speed is set to 1 60th of a second and to minimize noise in the final video I've set the ISO to the lowest native setting for the Galaxy S23 Ultra which is ISO 50. Remember these settings are just a starting point and you can adjust them according to your lighting conditions and your creative preferences. Experimenting in manual mode will help you find the perfect exposure for your videos. Let's go to the beginning and start adding in our light. The first and most important light in our setup is the key light. This is the primary source of illumination for our subject and it sets the overall look and mood of your video. In my setup, I'm using the Nanlite FS300B with a Fotex Raja Deep 80 softbox and a diffuser. This combination creates soft diffuse light that is flattering on your subject. But of course you don't need this light for your setup. Any continuous light source such as an LED panel will work as your key light. The key is to diffuse the light using a softbox or a sheet of tracing paper to achieve soft even illumination. You'll also notice that on the softbox I have a grid that only covers half of the softbox. This is to ensure that light is falling on me but not a lot of light is falling on the background. That is also why the white background in front of which I'm standing appears to be slightly grey. The next to add is a fill light that will balance out any harsh shadows created by the key light. Here I'm using a 5-in-1 reflector but if you don't have one a large piece of white cardboard or foam board can work just as well. This reflector is positioned opposite to the key light, bouncing light back onto my face, filling in any shadows on this side. A rim light adds a subtle outline to your subject, separating them from the background. Here I'm using a Godox Lightmon LED 6 You can use any light for this purpose. Just position the rim light slightly behind and above your subject, aiming the light at the back of the head or shoulders. The next part is optional, but as you can see, I'm standing in front of a white background and it's kind of boring. So to add in some visual interest, I'm using two Godox Lightmon LED 6R which are RGB lights to cast blue light onto the background, making it look a lot more interesting than just the white grayish background. You can obviously experiment with different backgrounds or different colored lights or different colored lights in your background to create a creative look for your video. In conclusion, this is a simple three-point lighting setup that will significantly improve the quality of your video and worth some practice and experimentation you can find the perfect lighting balance for your need so grab your lights experiment and get creative thanks for watching guys if you found this video to be helpful or useful or entertaining click the like share and subscribe button and see you guys in the next one